guys, welcome to another Friday and today I brought you a review of this NYX Pro brushes. I decided to do a review because when I was looking at them online I wanted to find out about them and I couldn't find anything so I decided to make a review about them. I bought them on Amazon. They were $11.99 and it's a set of 10 of uh, round brushes and I'm excited about it. Uh, the reviews on Amazon said they were pretty good for the price so I want to try them they did say that the sizes are smaller than the normal size for example the 16 is not actually a 16 it's more like a 10 so you guys want to keep that in mind so in the package I have uh, like I said they're round I have the three uh, a slash zero I have a zero I have a two I have a four a six an eight a ten a twelve a fourteen and a sixteen and then they're made of premium tacklon and here you have just tips of how to clean it what kind of materials you want to use them for it says it, it works for all watercolor acrylics and wash or I don't know how to say wash. Let's call it wash. And uh, it says 100% satisfaction. So if you want to co contact them if something goes wrong, they provide their email and their website, which I'm going to check out the website later. Anyways, they came in this really cool uh, pouch. So I can store them in there. They came wrapped individually. So I'm going to take them out and then we'll try them out. Okay, so I took them all out. I read online the the part that holds the bristles is aluminum and then this part is birch wood. Actually, they feel pretty sturdy and I'm really excited to use the bigger size, the 16, because it feels super uh, soft in the tip and I want to see how the details with that go so let's give it a try guys I brought one of my older ones so we can see the difference so these both are zeros and you can see definitely that there is a difference the the ones we got for night night pro there's much more smaller than the ones, the regular size ones that we get here in USA. I don't know if it's because there is a difference between USA and other parts of the world, but just keep in mind if you want to buy these, they're going to be smaller than what you used to. So a 16 is probably just half of what uh, the regular size in USA would be. So I'm going to try to... to tr to use them and see how it goes. We're gonna start swatching and I'm gonna use the number 16 first so it makes really thin lines and then Okay guys, so, so far I'm pretty sat satisfied with them, they feel good, they're a little stiff maybe for some people, maybe uh, people that like to do watercolors more uh, loosely, like they do flowers or things like that, maybe this is not the best because they hold their shape pretty good, they're a little stiff. But if you're going to go for details, then this, this might be good. I'm going to make a painting for one of my commissions with them and see how that goes. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how it worked for me. I'm going to time lapse this process for you guys. And then at the end, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my opinion about the brushes and how they actually work for me doing portraits uh, for my shop.
Okay guys, I'm done with this painting. I have to say I'm in love with these brushes, okay? And by in love, I mean I'm in love with these brushes. Uh, they all held their shape. Look at this. They look like I just opened it. Uh, they hold not that much water um, compared to an animal um, hair brush, but for my style, they work perfectly because I can get down there with the details with every brush I use. I didn't use them all, but I used the bigger sizes and then I think the smallest one I used was number two. And all of them work perfect for my style. And even though I have to confess guys, I made a mistake and I actually used the back of the watercolor paper instead of the right side. So even though I made that mistake, the brushes work really good, the watercolor firm at Arteza worked really good. Uh, I realized I wasn't using the right side when I started blending the edges and I realized it wasn't blending really good and it was because I used the wrong side of the paper. But I was able to manage it between... Um, my skill and the brushes and I'm in love with the brushes if you're looking for something that you have a lot of control in your stroke this is definitely the ones for you and the price you can beat it but if you're looking for something if you are like a loose painter then you want something more like hair like um, animal hair or a blend because they are a lot easier to to move around and they do kind of the work by themselves and it's just better for people that use that technique and they hold a lot more paint and water on them so that's a benefit from them too but if you have a skill similar to mine if you are going to do a lot of detail or lettering then these are great for you now also I have to repeat again keep in mind the number 16 is gonna be smaller than the not the usual number 16 so here in the USA I don't know if it's because it's from another country or anything I bought them on Amazon so they were locally here but I don't know if their number by other countries but they're gonna be smaller however i'm super satisfied with it they seem pretty sturdy like i said i i use them and they are holding the shape again nicely like i just opened them so i'm just gonna right now move to pack my order and send it to the owner and i'll talk to you guys i hope you guys enjoy these um Tutor not tutorial this um, review of the brushes and I'll see you next time and subscribe to my channel if you guys like the review and if you guys want to check out more of my painting and my style and my portraits you can go ahead and click on that belt and click on subscribe I'm going to check out my channel where I have lots of videos of me painting portraits and other things and also using even uh, color pencils I have different mediums acrylic and all that so I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.